Next up, we're going to be doing some chimps on cubism. So we're going to head there with Edian as our hero. And to get things started here, we're going to place down a tax shooter over here in this little corner. Up until red, to the right until red, up, and then to the right once more. Make sure we get that placement really good. And then we're going to come up here and go left until red, down until red, left until red, right there. And the reason I really like this opener is because you don't start with dart monkeys that aren't going to scale very well into the late game. You have a tax shooter and a monkey sub, which you could use to scale really well into the late game. Or as we're going to show here is we're going to go a completely different direction and these towers are still pretty good for us getting to the late game solution that we want. But just to start here with a tax shooter and a monkey sub we can get down Edian, which is really powerful. The sooner we get down Edian, the sooner we start to get value from this hero. And we're able to take a lot of shortcuts in this build because we are using this hero. The placement is going to be a little tricky as we have to put down Edian mid-round. Down and then to the left. In this corner that we've used quite a bit here. So make sure you get ready to slow things down here. Slowing down. There we go. Down until red. Left until red. Down. Lots of time, right? Now we can speed back up. We're going to come back over and get longer range and the advanced intel. We're getting this because Edian has really huge range over here. One of the best things about Edian in the early game is this huge range. So once we hit 540, we're going to buy that. And then we're going to come down here and get the twin guns and the airburst starts. Four eighty five is pretty cheap. And for that amount of cash you get to double the value you're getting from your monkey sub, which is huge. Especially because we already have the advanced intel going. We just need to wait for that 1080. And now we're going to come back over here and get an alchemist because with this opener we don't have the ability to pop leads just yet. So we're coming over here, we're going to go down and then to the right until we touch Edian. Down. Right there. We're going to set this to strong as we take care of the first camo balloon. We can see here once Edian is level 5 we can attack the camo balloons. So the strength of our opener allows us to take care of that first camo very easily, right? We're going to come back over here and place down our monkey village. It's going to go down and then to the left, down to the left, right there. We're going to get the monkey business and the monkey commerce. And our alchemist was helping us there on the lead balloons. We were busy doing other things, but we still got the job done. Now we can upgrade this to larger potions and acidic mixture dip. So from time to time we will pass a buff down to here. It's not much, but it does help out a little bit. Because we are being greedy here, saving up for a heli pilot next.
As soon as we have 1730, we can come over here and go down and then back up. We don't want to be touching the monkey village like this. So make sure you're not doing that. And then go down. Right there is a good spot. And then we can just sit tight here and upgrade to the quad darts and the pursuit. With this, we now have a lot of power in our build. We can come back over here and get the next monkey village. It's gonna go right above our other monkey village. Down. Down. And then to the left. To the left. And down. Getting the monkey business and the monkey commerce. And then coming back over here and getting the faster darts and the faster firing. We can also grab the Razor Rotors. And then we're going to have to wait just a little bit before we get the Apache Dart Ship. So we come back over here and get the Berserker Brew. Right there. Here comes the Moab. No problem for us, right? Now we can come back up here and place down our monkey ace. We want it to be within range of both, so we just need to find a spot where we're within range of both buffs. Right here looks good. We see we're getting both the discount buffs. We can go to the left a little bit more, but if we go up, we lose that, so right here is good. There it is. We're going to get the fighter plane and the sharper darts. Then we can come back over here to our Alchemist, and we're going to get the Stronger Stimulant and the Perishing Potions. We now have a pretty good engine going here. So we're going to come back over here and get the Bigger Radius and the Jungle Drums. because we're going to be front-loading a bunch of damage over here later, and we want to make sure that we have the jungle drums available in this area. Even if we can't get the extra buff on the discount here, we want to make sure we get jungle drums over here. And right now we're just sitting tight while we save up for the Apache dart ship. We have plenty of damage to get there too. One of the great things about this build is we already have the camo detection. See, all of our towers have the ability to see camo, and we don't have a single radar scanner just yet. That's the power of this hero right here. We're able to take some really big shortcuts. And then on a map like this, we also get a ton of value from the heli pilot. As you can see, we're able to follow stuff all along the track here. And on this part of the track, we're shooting really straight, so we get a ton of value from the balloons all lining up really nicely. And even here, we're able to see that the tax shooters popped 1.4k, so that's not terrible. Considering that's a completely unupgraded tax shooter. It's doing some work for us. The number is also a little bit lower because a lot of the balloons don't even make it all the way down here. And here on round 55 we have an Apache dart ship. So that's very powerful. We were able to cut so many corners to make this happen. It also has the jungle drum buff and a stronger stimulant buff. So we're doing a ton of damage here. Now we can come back over here and get the Operation Dart Storm. So we do a little bit more damage to mobs with this tower.
and we can save up our money for the Sky Shredder, which this is going to take a while because the money's not coming in super fast. But it is going to be really nice for us to have a Sky Shredder right before round 80. And in addition to that Sky Shredder that we're going to have, we already have our Apache Dart Ship upgraded too, right? So two really good late game towers before round 80 is a very powerful strategy if you're able to pull it off. Because then you've spent a lot of money on your tier 4 and tier 5, and you can start doing the supporting tower upgrades. Which are less risky, right? Because you're going to be floating less money at that point. But the supporting towers are also very powerful. Because with this alchemist here, we were able to buff this tower as a tier 3 and get it all the way up to the very expensive tier 4 without having any issues. And this Apache Dart Ship does a really good job here. We just breezed right through round 63 and didn't even really have to acknowledge it, right? This has popped 92,000 for us now. This is only at 8.6k. Our hero's at 10k, which isn't too bad. This is at 2.222 which is kind of cool. And this has popped 11k, so that's pretty good too as well, right? Just airburst darts popping 11.5k. But we're being super greedy here. You can see we haven't even gotten the triple guns. We're just sitting here waiting for the money to go up. We knew that it was going to take quite some time to get to the Sky Shredder threshold here. In some of these mid-game rounds, there's just no money coming in. You can see here we're 20k away from getting the Sky Shredder, but we're going to be getting that at around round 79. So the money is going to come in here very quickly when it starts to come in. Which is kind of interesting because you're given a bunch of rounds where you're not really challenged all that much. As long as you have the right type of towers to pop every bloom type, you're going to do just fine. Only 13k more to go. Watching the Apache Dart Ship pretty much solo the level for us. This has started to get a little bit more popping going on. But we can see there anytime there's no mobs on screen, we're really not doing much with this tower. In late game balloons, it's kind of interesting, right? You have towers that you absolutely need to pop mobs. But if you go too heavy on those, you don't have enough AoE for the clumped balloons, and you can die that way. Which is probably why balloons has such a large amount of replayability, right? There's just so many different things you can do and try here. And once we get the Sky Shredder, we can pick out a spot where we're going to put the Unstable Concoction Alchemist. And you can see we do have some overlap probably right about here. We can try that, but if we don't like that, it doesn't matter too much. We can just use this spot over here. 
Here's our round 79 Sky Shredder. We're definitely going to have no issues with the ZOMG, that's for sure. We aren't really able to get the double buff. That's okay. Let's come back up here and just make sure we're within range of our other tower. Get there right on the edge. We want to be all the way over here as much as possible so that we can debuff as many of the mobs as we can. We're going to upgrade this to the unstable concoction and set it to strong. We're also going to get the larger potions and acidic mixture dip. And from here we have a ton of different options, right? We have the Apache dart ship, we have the Sky Shredder. We could get pretty far into the late game without getting a single other tower. But because we like cool big flying towers, we're going to save up for the Apache Prime, which is 48k. I know a lot of people really like this tower, but, but I'm of the opinion that this tower is just a little bit expensive for what it does for you. And I think at this price, you could actually split out into two towers and get a really effective build that way. So we just need to sit here a little bit longer to get that Apache Prime going. I almost wonder if you could have two Sky Shredders and then just two Recursive Clusters and have a better build than what we're doing here. That would be something really interesting to try out. And then once we're done getting the Apache Prime, we're going to build some more supporting towers. Because we can see those DDTs do move really fast, right? And DDTs are one of those things where they're fine and fine and then they're not fine and they're running through your base, right? So we're going to make sure we don't have that sneaky DDT ruining our fun here. should be getting that Apache Prime here shortly. We want to make sure we get that as soon as we have the money, as floating 48k is never a good thing to be doing unless you're absolutely sure what you're going to be doing with it. There we go. We get our Apache Prime, which is just a little bit weirder looking of an Apache dart ship. I think the model here is just a little bit weirdly shaped. I don't know about you all. But now we're good, right? Let's go ahead and put down our glue gunner. We want to put it over here, to the right until red, down until red. Right there. We want to make sure that it has the jungle drum buff. And we're going to get the primary training and the primary mentoring. We're going to get the bigger globs and the glue splatter, set it to strong, and upgrade this to Moab glue. And at this point, we just need some more damage. So let's come up here and place down some sniper monkeys. Make sure they're not within range of our alchemist buffs. Right here looks good. We're going to upgrade this to Deadly Precision and set it to Strong while getting the faster firing and even faster firing. And then we come back over here, place down another Sniper Monkey, down until red, to the left until red. This one we can go to Bouncing Bullet and get fast firing and even faster firing. We can place down one more Sniper Monkey if we'd like, to the right until red, down until red. Right there. 
Upgrade it to deadly precision, fast firing, even faster firing. And then you're done with chimps? Clearing those rounds so fast we can barely even spend our money. And we see here our monkey star was the Sky Shredder with 828,000 popped. Almost half of our overall pop count was the Sky Shredder. So that really emphasizes what I was saying in that this tower is just really, really strong. And I also want to take a quick look at our Unstable Concoction Alchemist. It's at 206,000, so this is another really good value tower to pick up on this map. And that's Chimps on Cubism.